that we call sign comes on. So. <laughs> Can you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to the this special meeting for the reorganization and the swearing in of elected officials. First one we will have is our new our existing town clerk and she wants to come up. Do solemnly swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance to that the I will, United States of America. That I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America. And the state of New Hampshire. And the state of New Hampshire. And will support the Constitution thereof. So and will support we will, will support the constitutions thereof, so help me God. I Shirley Doheny. I Shirley Doheny. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me as town clerk. All the duties incumbent on me as town clerk. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Agreeable to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of this constitution. Of this constitution. Of the, of the state of New Hampshire. Of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Shirley. Thank you. Thank you. What I'll do is I'm going to go by um, office, and I'll call you up, and we can begin. We'll begin with Regina. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, I have a public statement I'd like to make before I'm sworn into my second term. Is that okay with the public? This is all about me. My first uh, position as an elected official in this town after living in it my whole life. And I just want to say a few words. Um, something about the election results. I was very happy to hear about the police contracts, the turnout gear, and the public works necessities. Those were very important items, and I'm glad that the voters voted yes on them. Uh, it seems the size of the ballot is found repulsive to most of the public I've spoken with, of all ages of voters. Uh, the budget process is not sufficient to promote the transparency and efficiency it should. More analytical review and preparation are warranted at the Board of Selectmen level. Direct involvement by a member of the Board of Selectmen working with management and finance prior to it going to the Board of Selectmen and Budget Committee will improve this process. I've served on that committee for the past three years and I've learned a lot. And I think I have a lot to offer to both the budget committee and town management and the rest of the board of selectmen before it even gets to our table. I come from a finance background and I think I'll be good at doing that. My mission statement planned after my first term in Hampton is based on input and discussions I have had with other elected officials both inside and outside the town of Hampton. Hampton residents, property owners, taxpayers, and anyone else that has a vested interest in this town. As a selectman, I feel I should become more vested toward the schools as, the, uh, as a school board representative. Since the master plan was rejected by the voters, perhaps a Town of Hampton visioning, com visioning committee should be established. I would ask the Board of Selectmen, once I am uh, sworn in, to allow myself as a representative to that as well as to the already established land lease committee, which I feel we're not utilizing enough. I will be declining nomination to the Budget Committee. I would argue that my focus should be on the above mentioned areas. Also in my view, the Board of Selectmen should rescind any limitations to the Budget Committee for access to town resources or employees. Topics of concern that I think are on a high level of radar that I know we do the best we can do as the town manager, Board of Selectmen, sometimes we have very limited resources to work with. Number one is the cable committee franchise fees and Comcast in general must be addressed as soon as possible. Flood mitigation and sea level rise seems to be duplicating efforts by the Hampton Beach Area Commission, Department of Public Works, and the Coastal Hazardous Adaptation Team. 
This important topic should come to the entire board on a regular basis. I will be stepping down as the Board of Selectmen rep and I will attend next week's meeting to explain that to the team. DPW projects, wastewater treatment plant, marsh pipes, two ongoing flood studies in the town, the Aquarian water line, the summertime is coming, Lafayette Road, that's just to name a few. Monthly updates with details should be brought up to the Board of Selectmen meetings ongoing until the projects have been completed. As I stated before, this all comes from Town of Hampton taxpayers, residents, what I've picked up along, the, along my way. Appointed commissions and committees by the Board of Selectmen. I will be abstaining to any appointment to any appointed commissions or committees until I've had adequate time to review and determine that all potential candidates have been identified. The Planning Board, Zoning Board, and Board of Selectmen. Let the elected boards do their job. If a project is signed off, by both the Planning Board, which usually includes the Conservation Commission, and the, ZB, and the Zoning Board, then I feel any concerns of the Board of Selectmen or its management must be explicitly stated and voted prior to management and or council taking any sort of action on property owners and or developers. The Town of Hampton and the State of New Hampshire, it is time to solve this. Perhaps the Board of Selectmen could instruct Town Manager Welch to prepare a letter to the Honorable Governor Sununu and his Executive Council asking for the Hampton Board of Selectmen and Chairman <coughs> Stiles of the Hampton Beach Area Commission to be placed on an upcoming Executive Council agenda. A negotiation is non-existent if it is not done in a public setting and or if it is avoided. Also, a negotiation must bring something to both sides, in my view. Thank you for your confidence in me to serve another term in Hampton. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I, Regina M. Barnes. I, Regina M. Barnes. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear faith and true allegiance. To the United States of America. To the United States of America. And the state of New Hampshire. And the state of New Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Regina M. Barnes. I, Regina M. Barnes. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me all the duties incumbent on me as a selectman as a selectman according to the best of my abilities according to the best of my abilities agreeably to the rules and regulations agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution of this constitution and the laws of the state of new hampshire and the laws of the state of new hampshire so help me god so help me god Thank you. Thank you. I, Joyce Scopertus, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will bear faith and true allegiance, that I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America, to the United States of America, and the state of New Hampshire, and the state of New Hampshire, and will support the constitutions thereof, and will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Joyce Scopertus, I, Joyce Scopertus, do solemnly and sincerely, do solemnly and sincerely, swear and affirm, swear and affirm, that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties and Encumbered on me, all the duties encumbered on me as a member of the budget committee, as a member of the budget committee, according to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my abilities, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Next we're going to do the 
Hampton School District. The school board will have you both come up. Beautiful. You can say your name first. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, Virginia Bridal. I, Les Shepherd. Do solemnly swear. Do, do solemnly, solemnly swear, swear. That I will bear faith and true allegiance. That, that I will bear faith, faith and true allegiance, allegiance. To the United States of America. To the United, United States, States of America. America. And the state of New Hampshire. And, and the, the state, state of New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And, and will support the constitutions thereof. thereof. So help me God. So, so help, help me God. God. I, I, Virginia Bridal. Les Shepherd. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly, solemnly and, and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me. All the duties incumbent upon me as a member of the school board. As a member of the school board. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution. Of this constitution. And the laws of the state of New Hampshire. And the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. I missed anybody that's here to be sworn in. Uh, Mr. Warburton. I think we're all. No. No, no, no. <laughs> there are ways no? to go. Okay. <laughs> no. okay. So the next part is part two, and we will have the reorganization of the Board of Selectmen. Mr. Chairman, I would like to. Uh, put forth as chairman for the coming year, Mr. Griffin. I'll second the motion. Okay. Anybody else for chairman? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor? Four. One abstention, I believe. Mr. All chairman right. for... Well, no. Oh. Now it's his, his turn. Oh. <coughs> You didn't get much of a rest, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now we have um, the nomination for vice chairman. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I will nominate uh, Selectman Barnes to serve as vice chairman this year. Second that. I'll make the nomination of Jim Waddell as the vice chair. I'll second it. All those in favor? Next we have the appointment for member and alternate member to the budget committee. Mr. Chairman. I'd like to nominate Rusty Bridal to the Budget Committee. I'll second. All those in favor? Three, one, one abstention. Did you? Did you yeah. Three, one abstention. So right. three to two. Yeah, three to two. Next, the alternate. Uh, nomination for the alternate. <coughs> I'll nominate Mary Louise Wesley. I'll second that. All those in favor? For, the, for what? For the planning board? Alternate. Alternate. Oh, I mean, but no. I want the planning board. For alternate for the budget committee? Hmm. No, I have served on the planning board and I want to continue serving on the planning board, so I'll be happy to be the alternate. But we haven't would. gotten there. That's just the alternate for the budget committee. Okay, well, fine. Okay. I'm not so doing anything. I'll nominate Mary Louise Wolseley for the planning board. They need a vote okay, first. We need the other. alternate first. <coughs> we need an alternate? For the budget committee. Oh. I'll serve as alternate. So I'll second. 
All those in favor, unanimous. Then we have the appointment as representative and all for the planning board. I'll nominate Jim Waddell for planning board. <laughs> I'll second it. All those in favor? And as an alternate to the planning board. You just voted. The alternate. alternate for the planning board. I'll nominate well, we, we had voted for you for the regular members of the planning board. No, budget committee. I'm mean, budget committee. Right. Well, Jim. We, we're not clarified. Yes, thank you. Okay, and for the alternate, Mary, uh, Regina nominated Mary Louise. I'll second. All those in favor? And that's it. That's it. That's it. Do we have any closing right. comments? Yes. Mary Louise. Uh, this is a waste of our time and the public's time. Uh, I have looked back to 2010 and every one of those Monday meetings of the Board of Selectmen after a, a town election, the, the members of the budget, uh, the members of the uh, Board of Selectmen have had a regular meeting. I have a whole listing of things here that we need to do uh, that I would like to see on the agenda. And I have emailed the former chairman from time to time asking that items be put on the agenda, and I never even get a response. But we need to do, uh, we need to discuss the harbor dredging. Um, we need to get together with businessmen in this entire community to sit down and talk about the waste uh, in light of Mr. Dufour's presentation last week. Uh, I saw Chief Ayotte's memo on the ambulance, our newest ambulance out of service for at least three weeks, and we're coming up on a busy season. Uh, then we have the bridge report, and I think it would be very nice if we announced to the public the four bridges that have been inspected and are in good shape. I think the public should know that. Um, uh, public Works. Um, is uh, training for 2019. I appreciated the memo from the Public Works Director uh, because everyone's going to be on a little bit of a tight budget this coming year. Um, the mobile home park, we, we are continuing to see the intrusion of floodwaters in these areas. And that's a wake up uh, call, I think, uh, with the documentation we received on those parking spaces down there. Uh, I think we should be discussing the Exeter Hampton sewer agreement a little better. We all have a memo. Mr. Welch is providing us with all this uh, information. Um, that uh, 1054 Ocean Boulevard wetlands permit compliance needs to be dealt with. And uh, of course the solid waste ordinance needs to be talked uh, about and now I think we need to get ahead of the curve with summer coming up. We need to sit down and start doing serious talk on solid waste and glass with the businessmen in our whole community, plus the problem with grease, because we don't want to see any more of that. So I am, uh, I am annoyed and disappointed at sitting here and coming over here for 25 minutes worth of work on a Monday night. I think that's disgraceful. Mr. Yeah. Yes. I, I agree with that all that work needs to be done, but we had voted to meet every other week, if you remember. That well, was that obviously wait, slipped wait, wait, by may, me. May I finish? I didn't interrupt you. Because that's a silly thing to do. May, may I finish? Mm -hmm. Okay. We voted to meet every other week, so this was a special meeting to deal with this, but I agree with you 100% that all of those things need to be looked at very seriously, but a lot of them need homework done be prior to have the meeting, like the glass and all that. We need to do a lot of homework on it before we do it and figure out what's going to happen with it. So I agree that we need to, and maybe we need to meet every week for a while rather than go rather than continue on our every week schedule. That's what I'm just going to say. I have a comment on that. Okay, so meeting every week. So. This is how it happens when we meet every week. We have a meeting Monday night, the next day. Now this is by talking to the town manager and of course Christina Osman, who is solely responsible 
for preparing for anything that this Board of Selectmen does. It all falls on her. So Monday we have a meeting, Tuesday, Wednesday, she spent, you know, they figure out what we decided to do on Tuesday, they work on that. Wednesday, guess what? You gotta have the new agenda in by Wednesday at five o'clock. So then we have the new agenda. And then we're already following to go for the following Monday. Sometimes as a selectman, I don't receive the agenda till Friday afternoon. So if I have any questions about what's on the agenda, that leaves Monday for me to go talk to either Fred or department heads or whoever. I mean, sometimes I gotta go see Chris and Jen. Sometimes I have to go see one of the chiefs. Like, you know, it's because they're the ones that are actually involved with doing whatever we are trying to get done. Or maybe I wanna go talk to just one of the regular old employees about something. That's what I do. That's how I find out how the town is functioning. Um, the town manager is responsible for all of that. And then he has the assistant town manager, which takes pieces of it. But in reality, it all falls under town manager Welch. So when he's spending the half the week putting the next week agenda together with the help of Christina, guess what? Nothing's getting done. So what needs to happen is maybe there's some times where I think we should always meet twice a month. So maybe if there's a holiday, we make sure that, okay, we're gonna take the holiday off, so maybe we have to have a back-to-back -back meeting. But I'm telling you right now, longevity-wise, meetings every week, we're never gonna get anywhere. It's, it doesn't give management and department heads time to put the ideas together. Just coming in here for an hour sometimes to only sign papers that Fred needs us to sign is not a good idea. The frustration lies when we ask for things to be put on the agenda and they don't get put on the agenda. So we have to bring them up under old business or new business. If that was all planned out, and we sat down and said, okay, Fred, for the next eight months, what do you need to get done? Like, what is the normal thing? We have department heads come in here, we got this guy come in, we got this guy come in. And then, what do the selectmen wanna have done? And then, what do appointments wanna have done? If it's all laid out, and they know, and Fred and Christina knows that, you know, by April 30th, we have to have this, this, and this done, and the selectmen are only meeting two times in April, so therefore, we have to have that information ready. If we're gonna get more people that aren't retired involved on this board, which is eventually gonna have to happen for sustainability, I'm sorry, not everyone's like me, and meeting once a week, and then if Rusty, like let's say we wanna go away for 10 days, now we have to miss maybe two meetings instead of one, that's not, I mean, I'm sorry, but I need to get out of here once in a while. I don't know about anyone else. You know, like it helps me. It helps me find out what things are going on in other places. Everything I do at this table, this is my life right now, all right? And I think for most of us, it takes up a big majority of our life. And if we can make it more organized and more efficient, maybe you don't see us once a week, but when we do have a meeting, I feel like the past few meetings we've had, we've accomplished a lot. And they haven't been too long. or So I think we really need to you know, we're gonna be coming to the summertime anyway, but I really think that we should focus on not just meeting to meet, but to have a plan when we meet. And then I think, you know, Mary Louise's case, if we have a holiday, we definitely should be sitting at this table twice a month without a doubt, no matter what's going on. But I don't think meeting once a week makes us more productive. Actually, I think it makes us less productive, in my opinion. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Steve? I agree with you, Regina. We have, we, I, I feel we've gotten more done meeting twice or every two weeks than we have done meeting weekly. I think that's been important. I think it does. Mary Louise, to your fact of sending me emails, I told you in, in September, and I told you publicly in two meetings, I would not open your emails and I would not respond to them because you blind CC people, and when I hear about emails before I hear, I get a chance to read it, that's a problem. That's why I've never opened your emails and that's why I never respond to them. And I've told you that publicly in two meetings. So I think meeting every other week has been a very good help. I think we've got a lot of stuff done and Mary Louise, you've said a number of times, we've got a lot done tonight when we've had our meetings. And that's true. There's a lot to be done. Yes, there is. This is gonna be a lot to done all summer long. And I think by allowing the town manager to have that 
break in between to get the work done and our staff to get that work done it has worked very well thank you okay and I would like to say that um, first of all the next week uh, for the agenda mm -hmm. um, well actually maybe not well maybe we should talk about it right now I think that we should um, I would like to see everybody submit maybe their top five things that they would like to see on the agenda to Christina and the meetings close the agenda closes Wednesday night at five o'clock so you know traditionally it's always been that way it used to be Thursday um, but it was too hard for her to get it all together by Friday so that's why it, generally you don't always get it till Friday unless it's something she's having a light time nothing happening in the office so I would like for everybody um, to give her their uh, top five choices and we will um, I'm all for prioritizing and doing what has to be done I will be uh, allowing you know I'll be very liberal with people's request for what's going to be on the agenda um, and I look for my guidance what shouldn't be on the agenda at particular times from both Mr. Welch and the town attorney. There are times when things shouldn't be on the agenda for different reasons. So um, these maybe we can come to a consensus what everyone feels and we can just put them in on a regular basis these things that are long standing and things that are very important now but there will be things that are very important now that have come up unexpected that will take precedence. Okay. And we need to make it so that, you know, it all is able to work out, it's able to work out for the people that have to be here to answer <coughs> questions like maybe a public works or whatever. So uh, does that sound good to you, Mr. Welch? It's fine with me, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, so if everybody over the next two <coughs> weeks wants to do that, submit their top five requests, and in two weeks' time, we'll go over them and uh, make sure that we have a nice firm understanding of when these things will be addressed. Mary Louise? I have tried to respect the position of the chair by directing uh, my uh, wishes for the agenda uh, directly to him. I have never copied any more than one other selectman. So it's not a majority of the selectmen that I'm communicating with. And as chairman, Mr. Bridal, you ran around with former town clerk Jane Cipher and never told us. You even took her out to lunch and never told us. And I had a little talk with her before she left. And she was furious that none of us knew. That's information, uh, the uh, former town clerk, that should have been passed on to all of us. I think there is more than enough work in this town to keep us busy. I think uh, I ran for this office for my fifth term to try to represent the public and to get something constructive done. And I object very much, unless there is a holiday, I object to not meeting every Monday night and there is more than enough. With April 1st coming, I think we need to get the businessmen in this whole town together pretty quickly, representatives of the business community, to sit down and talk about this waste. Because if I recall correctly what Fred said, this stuff is going to hit the wall come this fall. What, September, October, Fred, with Don't waste management? Yet. Don't know Okay, yet. so I'm going to repeat. And I think we need to get ahead of the curve and... And We're going to take the next the business two owners. weeks to decide what's going to be coming up. So you'll have two weeks to uh, submit your request to Christina. And um, you are, uh, as far as how the meetings go and how many times, you're just one of five, Mary Louise. So you have to have three other people, two other people that agree oh, with you. Oh, that's fine. I'm just So we will discuss that in two opinion. weeks. Uh, another thing I'd like to discuss is when people come up for... Uh, public comment. Um, this board has decided in the past that there will be no interaction. 
I don't personally think it's fair that just every once in a while we decide to let one person mm -hmm. have uh, yeah. a response when all the other uh, people have been turned down to have a response. Yeah. So I think we need to be very clear on that. And I would like to uh, have people you, bring these ideas forward. In two weeks, we will discuss this, exactly what's going to happen. So if anyone has any other ideas that they think that will benefit from going forward with a new board, we have two weeks to come up with these ideas. Why can't we have a meeting next week and start we here are. every other week? We are, but I, I think this is going to take two weeks for this to happen. The other thing I would like to ask is that if anyone wants to uh, email me to use my private email instead of the town one, it's selectgriffin at gmail.com. I gave it to Regina. Um, anyone can text me at any time. You can call me at any time. Well, so, I appreciate that, but I think we're doing a terrible disservice. And you can call to me public. anytime early in the morning. You can call me anytime yeah. at night. Yeah, Don't I hesitate. That. I'll be hands on, so you're more than welcome to call me at any time. Text me or use my selectgriffin at gmail.com. And I'm going to, who do I have to go to? To the, uh, uh, the IT guy to uh, put that on the town website. You want Paul to? Yeah, because yeah. I'd rather use that and have Christina use it because I've yeah. had too many problems with the town. Yeah, I have yes. problems with mine, yeah. too. Yeah. And uh, sometimes I can't even get into it. And it's very frustrating when I check at the last minute because I can't remember if we're supposed to be here at 6 or 7, and then you yeah. try to get on it, and you can't. Well, who's going to spearhead getting the business community together? Well, we, we're going to talk about that. We're gonna, I'm going to go in and have a meeting with Fred and with uh, Christina about what we just discussed here about two weeks coming up with a nice plan for the agenda. April 1st is coming up. And the well, it's coming up and we're going to be ready. So just like we always are, if there needs to be special meetings, there'll be special meetings. That probably but I'm going to come and talk to Christina. And Regina brought up some good points. It is hard to try to get the information when you don't get it to the last minute. And um, you don't want to uh, take advantage of the town people either. You know, you just can't ask them to drop everything at the last minute. The same thing happens with them coming here at night too. So we have to, that's right. why it's going to take a couple of weeks so that we can get a good plan yeah. going. Um, so, you know, other things like how long we uh, allow, ask, you know, let people speak, whether it's three minutes or four minutes for the public comment. Mm -hmm. I, I think we have to have a firm um, way that it's supposed to be and stick to it every time. And also, if there's people out there that want to be on the agenda uh, and they have a good reason and it's not something that was just discussed the previous week or whatever, I'm all for it. Um, as long as it falls within the guidelines of Mr. Welch, what he recommends also. I read the paperwork that Mr. Welch had for me that I picked up Monday morning and I read through the whole thing and I made my list that I read to you this evening of the topics yeah, and that some came of them up. I, d I definitely agree with you. Uh, and many times they do get forgotten for one reason or the other and I'm not sure they're just uh, forgotten. I think sometimes they're worked out and, um, and don't need to come here. But the particular thing you mentioned about the trailer court or whatever it is. The, the parking park, and the mobile, the home, mobile park. home park. They're all yeah, there's a big issue out. there, and that should be discussed. I totally agree. Uh, and sometimes we just see that, and then we never hear any more about it. So it might take two weeks to get to, if we want to have those people come in and put them on the agenda or whatever, or have the DPW. So that's what we're going to work on, and we'll have a nice plan in effect within two weeks. And there were only about 12 people at the Public Works presentation of the Route 1 project last Wednesday. And I was there, and Mr. Bridal and Mr. Waddell. But mm -hmm. that's something we need to sit down and talk with Public Works about as well. That is going to be mm -hmm. a big problem, and we need to do it that that's going to be a big uh, upset in this mm -hmm. community. And, you know, that's, you know, maybe, uh, you know, that's something that, are they ready to talk more about that right now? Oh, yes. 
So uh, maybe we could do that on the agenda for next week. They're going to be here next week, so they are I just add it to I the hope so. Right. Okay. And I so that's with something Fred. that can be discussed. Right. And I talked mm -hmm. with Fred about other information that I had received on that Okay, project. so that, that will be a key thing for next yes. week. And we'll invite any business people out there, any people from the public that want to come. Yeah. Um, and, and address it. It won't be, it's not going to be a um, public hearing, no. but uh, it will be <clears throat> information. information that's going to be given out. People mm -hmm. may want to tune in and see it. So let's make that yeah. our goal for next week. Yeah. That's a big project. And when Fred gives me paperwork, I go through the whole thing and I even <clears throat> correct spelling occasionally. Once in a while, yeah. 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 I just want to. I know that I asked for, I know there's a lot of projects going on in Public Works that's maybe going to even have any more after some of the votes. So when I add, I know I mentioned monthly updates and I just want to make a statement on that. That can be in the form of a communication by email. The last thing I want, like Fred said, Public Works is already coming <coughs> next week. So mm -hmm. if we have like more things for Public Works, I mean the last thing is I want those guys to have to come in here like you know, every other right. week, you know, so right. if we can like, like you're saying, think about what we might want to talk to them about and try to do it all in one meeting. And just like an email update mm -hmm. is what I'm referring to. I mean, I'll sit here and bring it up or Fred can, whatever, but I think we just need to make sure that we're informing the public on a more regular basis. Cause they're asking me questions sometimes. And then Aquarian comes in and says, they're going to start work. And I see them down there one day and then the next day I go and they're like not there, but I don't mm -hmm. have anyone to ask why. So I mean, if we could just already have that normal communication coming here in email form that goes out especially to Jen Hale, and then one of us can just maybe let the public know about it to keep them up to date. Mr. Chairman, especially with your connections to the beach, can you at least get together a draft memo for the business community, you you better you better than I will know the business leaders in this community, and if you can get a memorandum out to them, trying to set in place some kind of a discussion for this waste and glass problem. So what we'll do is we'll bring it up on Friday. I think it's Friday, March 29th is the uh, uh, t the the precinct meeting. And it will be, we'll yes. get bring it up there. I'll be there as well. And there's a lot of people like, for instance, Chuck Rage is too busy getting ready for all of that mm -hmm. right now. I was looking at all of the information that he's been giving out. So that maybe can be his next project, and I'll call him mm -hmm. tomorrow and ask him to think about it and think of ways right. to address it at the precinct meeting. And after that precinct meeting, perhaps we can then put out a memo to him and mm -hmm. to the other, uh, yeah. to the business community. Because this is going to be a big, big deal with this waste. Yeah. And then also, Mr. Welch, when we, uh, again, I'm going to come in to talk with Christina um, and make sure that we have a record of all of the committees in that, the people from here on the board are part of. Like Regina said, she just wants, is that the one that's called chat? Yeah. Yeah, she wants to step down from that. I think that an issue like that, they should just be coming to report us on a regular basis, mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. with you, because I don't feel like I personally have the capability to remember what they're saying, and I don't want it to get misinterpreted between. So in the two there weeks where we discuss that, be thinking exactly yeah. how you want to promote that particular thing. And then the other thing that she mentioned is she wanted to be a representative to the school board. Now, do we have a representative to the school board from the... Strictly after the selection to appoint someone yeah. to do that. So do we need to get the uh, <clears throat> approval of the um, school board to ask them if they want to have a representative? Well, it's polite to ask, but right. uh, yeah. usually yeah. Uh, what happens is uh, the, the, the individual boards... They may want to appoint someone to be a representative to you so that when things come up, they can have mm -hmm. somebody here, and it works the other way around, too. So okay. I think having somebody named as the representative gives a focal point. Because Regina said she's already talked with them. But that would be a non-voting member on their that's board. That's correct. Or, or, yeah. Or right, yeah. yeah. So yeah. can you send out a letter uh, asking if that's okay with them? We'll talk, I'll talk before to the Before the next two weeks, yeah. so that we'll know an answer to that within the two weeks yeah. when, we, when we discuss these Not issues. Okay, any? The only thing I was going to say is, Fred, you know, we all know the trash is going to be a big issue. Uh, when do you think that Public Works will be ready to start discussing that? Well, <clears throat> we don't know when waste management is going to, in fact, key up because we don't know 
uh, when the, the contamination and the, and the trash itself is going to be a significant problem that they're going to have to restrict. They're talking about sometime within the next year they're going to have to restrict glass. We, we don't need, know when. We need that to could be six months that. from now, it could be six days mm -hmm. from now. Just don't know. Mm -hmm. right. uh, I have talked to some of the other towns and they're in the same pickle we're in. Oh, yeah. They're trying to work through it. They want to know how to work through it. Uh, today I ordered the hammer mill plans for uh, uh, crushing glass, so we have that in stock in case Good. we need to build the equipment. Yeah. And we have the equipment to build it with, so mm -hmm. I think we're in pretty good shape there. Um, we have to find a market for it, which is something we don't really have to look very hard for. <clears throat> but there's a lot of detail work that goes into doing something like that. Having done it once before, I can tell you it took a good four or five months to get the detail work done. Mm -hmm. So the system worked. But we also need to get plenty of input from our from our businesses. Definitely. Oh yes. And so well, are we going to get the input at the same time well, the, that we invited from the public, or should we have a meeting for the business community first? And then be, yes. I would say it should be a forum, but we ought to have our public works prepared for it, and they were nowhere prepared to have it for this week or next week. No, they're not. And but yeah. we should have it <clears throat> sooner than later. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, are you suggesting that the public be able to talk as well as the business people? I would think. Or yeah, do it we separately. have to hear everybody. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think it's a good time that you hear it all at once, and then and then right. move forward. So that will be more of a, in a public hearing, right? But in a, in a sense, yes, a public yeah. forum, public hearing, public Where discussion. Where people are invited to talk. Yes. But the business owners are critical because they are the ones who acquire this huge inventory of empty beer bottles and yeah, wine bottles and whatever. I understand, bottles I and, understand, whatever. But the and they're the is, ones who are going to have to deal with well, it. Well, we can't do it until the town DPW is ready yeah. to do it. Right. So and that's what mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Walsh is going to figure out. Yeah. And furthermore, the unfortunately, the code enforcement position went down. But we can't afford, I don't think, to have another five feet of grease stuck in that grease trap down in public works. We need to arrange some way, uh, while we're talking with the business community, to stress the idea that they are not to, dr to dump grease in our sewer. Actually, they're uh, not dumping system. grease deliberately. What they're doing is cleaning their grease traps out by running chemicals through them, which cleans them out and flushes the grease traps. Well, that's very nice. And it all ends up down in yes. the, 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 uh, the pump station. Yes, and that's <coughs> inexcusable. But, but we do have a grease trap inspector already. Mm -hmm. We do, and we do inspect the grease traps several times a year on a regular rotating basis. Right. And what happened last year? They cleaned they out at the end of the year, and we ended up with five or six feet of Thank solid. Thank you. Grease in the that station. never ever should be. So you're talking twenty thousand dollars to get that cleaned out. That's ridiculous. Well, there there are ways to combat that, and we can change the sewer regulations to do that. But that's going to mean pretty heavy fines because it's a violation of federal law. Right. Once we get into that, we're we're going to get into a real mixed bowl of trouble. But sorry, can I ask a question? I mean, I've worked in restaurants in this community pretty much my entire life, and. Uh, I've always worked in places where they hire a guy to come, <laughs> come in. and take the grease out of here. Right. So people are just not doing that? Is that well, what? When we go in to inspect and you open the grease trap, you expect yeah. to find grease. Right. When it's as clean as the top of this table. Right. Okay. So. It, could we put something in our ordinance that says they have to have proof on who came in and cleaned it? We already have that. We already asked for it. They do come in and clean it, and at the end of the year, they. They clean the thing out by running hot water through it with chemicals. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to therefore scrub it out. And that's and that's not everybody, it's just a few. Right. Well, so, it's enough to accumulate. <clears throat> well, hopefully we'll much. be able to bring forward this information when we have the yeah. discussion with the beach people. And, uh, you know, so again, when we meet in two weeks, we're going to discuss exactly how things happen here at the board. Um, maybe we'll even... Meet next week. What? We're meeting next week. Is our regular yeah. scheduled meeting? Well, it's going to be two weeks so. after that. Would be our next meeting after that. Mm -hmm. You think you've got to get all yeah. this done every other week? I think maybe we should have a special meeting. That's a yeah. I agree with Rick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's just you want to do that. But I was just trying to get yeah. us on our schedule. I, we've already. Yeah. Yes, and we should be meeting. Next I would Monday like night. to just say that. Why don't we do another meeting that's so fine. that we can get everything discussed? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy down with that. And. We could also, um, at the same time in two weeks, 
uh, discuss the results of the, bat, the voting also and see if there's anything to be learned from that. We can take a look at that again. So we're going to review exactly what happens here at the board and how, what the protocol is for all the different things. And by that time, we'll have a, a rough draft of some of these things. So everyone get their things, pro hopefully in the next week, the five things that you'd like mm -hmm. to Christina. And there's, she'll come up with them. There's no excuse for us sitting here unless we are getting the work done. Well, that's what we're trying to do. So we're gonna, we've heard what you had to say. And again, we're gonna have a special meeting the week after this coming week. April 1st. April, it's April 1st, yeah. So. Any other closing comments? Motion to adjourn. Yes. Second. All those in favor? Oh, we need a time. 1946. Yeah, okay, thank you.